Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, which you guys know what that means. It is upgrade pack day today in FIFA 23 for Bundesliga team of the season. But there's one specific pack that we're expecting today as well that should give us our best chance yet of packing a Bundesliga team of the season card. I want to talk about that in today's video and of course all of the craziness that went down yesterday with the 90 plus icon pack being dropped and Saudi League team of the season being added on to this game with a Cristiano Ronaldo team of the season moments card not even a full team of the season card so we're going to talk about all of that today and what's going to go on with the market because if you remember the last two Mondays on this game really meant big things for the cards in packs a lot of these prices of team of the season cards that were in packs during community and during prem the last two weeks on Monday had some significant price movements that's what I want to talk about in today's video as well if you're excited for today drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now let's take a look at yesterday's content first starting with the saudi league team of the season guys it's a little bit, I guess, more disappointing than I thought it was going to be. Only eight players is the first disappointment from my end. I mean, that was the leak that we saw before. But I thought, you know, E, it was maybe going to give us a couple more usable cards. I feel like in this team, there's like three or four usable cards. We've got, the, of course, the Anderson Taliska card, which I'm super excited to try out. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. It's also crazy to me that this card last year was about a million to 1.2 million coins. The first couple of days that he was in packs. Now, this year, I don't think his card is as good, but still 440,000 coins. He's a lot lower than he was last year. Also, Romarino being in this team is kind of a card we expected based off the leaks as well. But this card looks really, really cracked. And these guys have gotten pretty rare into the early morning hours today on Monday morning. Five-star skill upgrade for him, four-star weak foot, 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 stamina. Some really nice stats in here on this card as well. I do feel like these cards got really supplied when they started out on the market yesterday, specifically Taliska and Romarino. Taliska had pages and pages of supply. He was all the way down to about 370k, I believe. Uh, it doesn't show here on the graph, but he was like 370. And Romarino as well was under 400k. They have rebounded back up, but I think they may continue to rise a little bit more into today. But nonetheless, the, the rest of this team this season, of course, you've got the Cristiano Ronaldo, right? How can we not talk about this card? It is a big boost, let's be honest, from his latest inform card, plus 10 pace, um, 7 dribbling, and 6 physical, a W dynamic dynamic image and uh, he still can be lengthy as well because they stopped his agility at 85 which is kind of interesting if you like the lengthy explosive uh, or the the lengthy accelerate on the Ronaldo card five star four star and very expensive 7.6 million coins this card it is not going to stay here it is for sure going to drop off as all really expensive cards do but it's kind of like it's the brand new fresh Ronaldo in this game and uh, you know it is it does look exciting and I'm sure a lot of people are going to try to pack that this week I bet it's going to be tough to pack this Ronaldo because a lot of us are going to be opening Bundesliga specific upgrade packs so it's going to be from regular packs and maybe like last week we don't even have a regular upgrade pack to get Ronaldo from so that's a little bit disappointing uh, from that standpoint but we'll see if EA changed it up this week because that is there but that was kind of the big card that was dropped yesterday and the rest of this team is basically all fodder I mean the only card that's not fodder is Tom Batke, and he is actually not fodder because his price range is messed up and he should be you know about uh, 15 thousand coins cheaper or maybe even more than that but he is stuck at 40k this guy also has the craziest dribbling stat ever he's got 70 dribbling but he has 99 agility balance and reactions with 44 dribbling on the actual card i bet he does not dribble very good in game that is quite the interesting kind of stat combination there <laughs> as i tweeted out yesterday i don't think i've ever seen a card in the history of fifa with a, stat, a dribbling stat line that looks like that so that was the cards that were added in packs yesterday we had one uh saudi tots via sb see Kaku, and then we also had an objective for the Luis Gustavo, which we did talk about in yesterday's video. This was expected, and to me, this one's a W, right? I already got one section done here. It's not the most insane card, but especially if you're going to try to use Romarino, if you're going to use Talishka, and you're going to try them out. Medium high work rates on a uh, card that can be lengthy, I believe, as well. He is six foot two and he's got 81 agility, so he can be lengthy. He's got the dives and the tackles trade. It's, you know what, a pretty solid card. Kind of gives me like Casemiro type vibes 95 strength, 93 aggression, 98 composure, but only 83 reactions. So, not too bad for a free card. Might be able to try him out with that perfect link to the Talisca and the Brazilian links as well for the Romarinho, the Marcelo Grohe's, the goalkeeper as well. You know what? Not too bad to link those guys together there. So 
that was kind of the Saudi League content that we had yesterday. We'll get that guaranteed pack tomorrow, so best of luck trying to pack Ronaldo, but it's probably not going to happen for 99% of us. But of course, yesterday as well, we finally had the big, big SBC the 90 plus icon upgrade. We were looking forward to this since we saw the pack dropped in the code, but what we didn't expect was the price of this SBC. It looks like it might be kind of expensive, 84, 86, 87, but it's coming in at less than 200,000 coins from scratch, which in the grand scheme of things, is really, really cheap. And like we mentioned in yesterday's video, EA, um, you know, they knew, they know that fodder is pretty cheap right now. So they are um, purposely making this SBC pretty cheap. But what does that mean? We've said it many times before. When we have a really cheap icon SBC or a hero player pick SBC, those cheap gamble packs, the upgrade packs like this, when they're really cheap like this, they oftentimes have an absolutely woeful pack weight. And that's kind of what I saw yesterday from this. I saw a lot of primes and that was kind of the expected, right? We talked about that as well in the lead up to the video or into that SBC in the previous videos on the channel. I kind of expected the pack weight to be a little bit lackluster, but man, some of the pack pulls we had yesterday, that SBC is like 200,000 coins, right? We packed Butro Gueno like three or four times. He's only 130, 140,000 coins. Yes, it's a really good card, but you know, we weren't, we were getting a lot of primes and it was like, you know, every three or four or five of those upgrade packs, we were hitting a icon that was either a trophy titans or a team of the year if you want to check out we did a video yesterday of those i'll link that right above here make sure you check that out and uh but maybe before you do the sbc see how you like the uh what's coming out of those we did pack some really big w's as well in that video so i won't spoil it but you can check it out there so it's kind of hit or miss like it always is with these icon packs but nonetheless i think a lot of us like these packs because they're fun and especially when it's cheap like this it seems more fun to do because it costs less but in turn the pack weight's usually less as well i have not done this yet i'm going to craft it during this week of bundesliga upgrade packs that i will definitely be opening starting today on this game but of course since it is cheap the fodder that we thought was going to go up went up and it went up fantastic amounts 86s were actually above like 10,000 coins they're back now back down now a little bit you see them at 8.9k but look at this spike yesterday that we saw in those from the low 8k range last night all the way to 11k they were selling at 11,000 coins for that first hour after the SBC came out. Guys, again, I'll say it, that is the best time to sell fodder, especially during the weekends right now where we have foot champions going on and that supply from uh, people opening the rewards is still kind of trickling in. The lightning rounds are still going on during the team this season as well on the weekends. So the best time to sell fodder whenever we get big SBCs uh, on the weekends, like an icon pack or like a hero SBC is definitely in the peak of the hype. Some of these 85s went up a lot as well. They went from around the low, um, low to mid 5k range, 5.5 to 6k, all the way up to around seven and a half thousand coins. But now they're back down a little bit, right? I could see these prices rising back up. If you have not sold your fodder yet, I actually think you're okay to hold because think about it. We've got a nice baseline SBC here. That's going to be having fodder demand throughout the rest of the week. A lot of people do an SBC like this right away, but since it is out and it's going to refresh on Friday, people are going to work on this like myself, not having done it yet. They're going to work on it through the rest of the week. So just be careful with this SBC. Um, and if you have the fodder, I would probably say you can hold on to it, especially if we're getting more content today, which we are. More player SBCs that come in this week, more SBCs that people are going to do to try to get packs, the pack team, the season cards, especially if you have 83s, 84s, 85s. I think you can lazy list those. I think 86s, you'll be able to sell back at like 11, 12,000 coins. So don't panic if you still have those. I think those prices will go back up. But if you did sell, GG's. And then for the higher tier market, man, we had 891s before content yesterday. You could tell people were hoping there was going to be a high rated squad requirement. They were up from 25K all, to, all the way to 28,000 coins, but they dropped all the way back down to 25,000 coins because that high rated squad requirement was not there. It was only 87 rated. Now, of course, at the same time, you did see some selling on the market on some of those icons that were included in the pack for the first time, specifically the Trophy Titans. Yes, they were really, really good to trade with. I picked up five Loms for under 200,005 coins, right? I think it was actually 190, 180 at one point, but I've been getting sales at like 230 to 240, some lazy sales, especially with the Bundesliga and the German links that are there right now. This has been a really good card to trade with. Uh, so I traded with that yesterday, but I wasn't trading a ton, to be completely honest. I flipped that Zlatan for about 75k profit and tried him out in, as well. Haven't used that Zlatan in a really long time, so that was kind of fun uh, to try him out. So a lot of your icons, though, from Trophy Titans, they did have some fluctuations, and they went down, right? They went down because people were selling this because they were fearing the SBC, 
And so they uh, kind of sold those cards and then uh, went out afterwards to buy them back. This dog leash car was as low as like 615, 620,000 coins. He's back now to 740k. Uh, a couple of other cards that I saw do really well yesterday was some of the foot birthday icons, actually. Foot birthday Kaka was under a mil, and I believe Kaka now is nearing 1.1 highs. Yeah, 1.15. So he was under a million coins, and now he's 1.1. So you did have some of those icons bounce back that were in the pack just because they got panic sold, but then they rebounded as people realized, wow, these cards are actually, or these packs are not actually giving out the most insane cards. So that's a lot of talk in there about that icon pack, but I want to kind of get through that because that's a common, if you learn from those movements that you, we saw with the icon pack yesterday, this is something that happens just about every week. And if you learn what cards are going to move based on what's in the pack, based on what the SBC requires, it is different every week, but some stuff is the same, especially trading with some of those icons that move every single week. It's a great time to be looking for those trends and learning how to maneuver the market in those different areas. Now, let's spin the focus back into today on Monday because we're turning into a Monday. Mondays are always upgrade pack days, right? And we know, like, Nate, you got to tell us, buy the gold rares. Yep, I'm going to say it, buy the gold rares. They're already going up. I mean, it's pretty tough to win them now, I think, at 650. I think you have to pay 700 and maybe even 750 coins to win these gold rares because people are already investing and getting ahead of the game. If you've been stocking already during the weekend, you're in luck. You're ahead of the game. And uh, these prices are probably probably just going to rise even further this morning as my game is being very, very slow here as I try to search at 750 coins for these gold rares. I think we're going to have to dashboard here, but um, I would try to get stocked up on those. I'm actually not able to stock up on those at the moment. I haven't done that, so I need to go and do that and fill up my club. Now, the real question is, are those cards going to go to 1.5k like they were last week, right? I mean, last week, all gold rares were like 1.4 to 1.5K because everybody was spamming upgrade packs for Premier League team of the season. I don't know if they're going to go that high this week. You would think, okay, Bundesliga Tots, yes, it's going to have hype, maybe not as much as Prem, but the cards this week are super juiced as well. And if you think about it, there are less rares in the Bundesliga than there are in the Premier League, rare golds, that is. So in theory, that would give you a higher percentage chance of packing Bundesliga team of the season cards, which I think could be a play uh, as to why maybe more people would want to go and do more upgrade packs this week. But I'm still going to dump a lot of coins into these because I want to try to pack some of the biggest and best cards from Bundesliga Tots and have some fun with that. Craft some SBCs along the way. It's going to be a mad bit of fun this week on the streams opening these packs. But with that being said, make sure you stock your club with gold commons now or with gold rares. Now, I'll also say this for gold commons with the CR7 and the Saudi League Tots that we do have in packs. It might be a sneaky play to also stock or if you want to invest in some of these gold commons at 300 apiece. They're basically discard. They're not in demand right now. We did not have a secondary upgrade SBC released last week on the game for Premier League team of the season. But maybe this week with the Saudi League toss cards in packs, EA will know people will be jonesing for an opportunity to try to pack Cristiano Ronaldo team of the season moments. So... I think that they could this week potentially drop some sort of like, I don't know, 80 plus player pick, maybe an 81 plus player pick. And that would be an SBC that would probably require some commons and some rares. So if you want to make a sneaky investment, maybe go in on some commons as well. It's zero risk. They're 300 coins minimum buy it now, minimum bid. So very much so get on some of those stock the club if you want to try to risk that or just have the club stocked for other SBCs that are going to be upcoming this week then maybe we'll give out some packs that will require some non-rares. So now that's coming out today, right? And what pack are we looking for today, right? We're looking for the eight player Bundesliga rare pack, right? I should have mentioned that earlier. That's the actual upgrade pack that is going to be coming today. It's basically this pack uh, right here, eight Bundesliga players pack. It's the same thing we had for Premier League last week. Now, the other pack we're probably getting today is this one, the 81 times 11 Bundesliga, which is a pack that a lot of people went and did this objective as fast as they could to try to get this pack because this pack actually, especially on Friday when we saw the Bundesliga Tots dropped in the game for the first time, this pack had a pretty solid pack weight and a lot of people were packing Bundesliga team of the season blues from it. And again, like I mentioned, I think that has to be something to do with just less Bundesliga rare golds in the game, giving you maybe just that slightly higher chance of packing 
a Bundesliga team of the season card. And that makes me really interested in that 81 times 11 as we head into today on the game because those have been dropping on Mondays. And I think with that dropping today, I would want to stock up, maybe if you don't have enough in your club, some 82s, 83s, and 84s because those could be cards that are moving in price today as people go and do that upgrade SBC, the 81 times 11, probably 83s to 85s would be the place to look there once again. I know they're already inflated, but especially if you're going to look into 82s, right? If there's like an 83 squad in there and you need 85s, I think 82s rose up a good amount last week, as well as the gold rares rising up. So 82s are almost the same price as all gold rares are 800 right now. So maybe you try to pick up a couple of those on bid at like 700, 750. That could be an investment play or just a club stock play for that 81 times 11 that comes out today. Now, other SBCs that could be coming out today, we have two leaked SBCs at the moment. One of them looks really good to me, and it's Rafael Guerrero. A lot of people did his player of the month earlier on this year, and they said he is absolutely cracked. Now, I never use this card, but I take their word for it. Um, he looks pretty good, to be completely honest, and he also has some really good links right now with the Marco Royce that was released on Friday. So keep a close watch on this player right here if he is to drop as an SBC today or tomorrow I think last week on Monday we did not have a player SBC um if we did it wasn't a, a Premier League card I don't believe so what I would tell you to do is watch out for this card either today or tomorrow but that could be a card that brings some hype Portuguese links and of course the Dortmund links could be uh usable in many different positions as well center mid left back left wing back I think all over the place honestly that could be a very nice card if it's released at the right price and you also have griffo is coming as an sbc so it's kind of like last week where you know remember we had the laporte and we had um the kai havertz and we had one other league i forget who the other league was but um you know we didn't know when they were going to drop it's kind of the same thing this week with griffo and with the Guerrero, but I think there's more hype for Guerrero for sure this week. But if we were to get one of the SBCs today, that would also feel like it might make the rest of this week kind of seem a little bit slow in a sense as well. So we're going to have to be careful with what we get for SBC content this week, but watch out for those two players there that have been leaked. I feel like we may not get one today, but you know what? Who knows? It might just be the 81 times 11 day today on this game and the upgrade packs. And of course, like we said in the intro to the video, the Mondays on this game have really impacted prices on the TOTS cards that have been in packs because people see the upgrade packs, they see the 81 times 11 and the other SBCs that are out, and people get to opening packs and they get to selling cards that they maybe had bought to try out or for whatever the reason may be. And on the last two Mondays, the Impacts Team of the Season cards have dropped off a lot. Remember the EFL guys last week? I remember flipping Brownhill, right? He was like extinct at 380. He went up all the way to 400,000 coins, but then by the end of Monday, he was down in like 260 or 270. He was down bad. And even for the Premier League cards last week, I remember cards dropping down pretty considerable amounts in value after content on Monday. And I think today with Bundesliga, that same thing could happen. So if you own any Bundesliga cards, what I would do is, or if you're trying to flip any of them, like I am, I picked up a couple of cards, picked up some Leroy Sané's at 60,000 coins flat because I feel like he dropped off a lot yesterday. He's got links uh, that a lot of people want to try. His, his price did really well yesterday too, and from 69 to 75. So I'm hoping that, that maybe Sané can go back up to like 70,000 coins today, but I will be selling this card before the content dropped today on Monday, for sure. I would recommend you do the same thing with most of these cards. I think Kimmich might go up a bit, a bit more today. Um, Musiala is back under 2 million coins again, which is really interesting because he was not there in, since last night. But these rare guys have all these crazy fluctuations. Jude Bellingham was just 4.7 mil back to 5.1. And Kunku goes to like 4.4, 4.3. And then he goes all the way up to about 4.8. Like these guys are fluctuating like crazy. So if you catch a spike today, maybe you sell the card. Um, and I'm not saying that all these cards are going to like drop down a bunch today. All I'm saying is Mondays bring good content for packs, right? And packs are what people get the most excited about when trying to think about these team of the season cards. Having the potential opportunity of to pack them in their team untradeable instead of having to go buy them is big. So I would be very careful with these cards today and owning them. Uh, and that also goes for like the rest of the market. I'm really not going to own too many cards today into 6 p.m. Just because it's a pack day. It's a coin drain day on this game. And for these Bundesliga Tots cards, I again need to mention this pack code right here that we have not yet seen in this game. The 83 plus Bundesliga tradable player pick that guarantees all Bundesliga players rated 83 or plus 
and it says CPAC probabilities for full details. This feels like if it were to ever drop, which um, to my knowledge, it is not dropped in this game just yet. If it were to drop on this game, it would have a pretty big impact on Premier League Tots cards, specifically the middle to low tier, because I feel like they would be very packable from that player pick. So this is something that I'm keeping a close eye out for because this is kind of some impending danger and price drop in terms of supply for a lot of these Bundesliga Tots cards. It's just a matter of when is it going to drop or if is it going to drop. So just kind of watching out for that. But with Bundesliga cards most likely dropping off a bit today, could we potentially buy some for our teams later on this week? Yes, we could. So I'll be keeping an eye on those prices, of course, throughout the rest of the week. But it's not throwing me away and throwing me off of the idea that some of them could rise up a little bit today. And even some of the Anderson, Taliska, Romarino guys that are in the Saudi League team of the season, these guys could have some really positive price movements today as people want to wake up today on Monday, go and try them out. And what I will tell you with these guys as well is they could spike a lot this morning. Last week, Brownhill, Tella, a lot of you guys remember trading with those guys last week. I would sell those pre-content for sure. Every single one of these Saudi Tots cards, sell them before the content drop today. Don't risk it. Just take the cash and uh, you don't have to worry about anything that happens after the content drop today. So be very careful with those. Be careful with the Bundesliga Tots cards. But again, they should still be nearing the low point, but maybe not at their lowest yet for any of you guys that really want to buy into them for their teams. Now, personally, yesterday as well. Oh, yeah, we have to mention this. World Cup Aloe Wayrens. Since the team, I had invested in these. I lost some coins yesterday. I sold Aloe Wayrens at uh, 340,000 coins. Luckily, I sold him there because he is down even further. And yes, I did lose some coins yesterday's guys because this guy was massively overinvested. And also, the Saudi League team of the season did not live up to the hype. But with the coin losses that we had there, we were able to make most, if not all of it actually, right back up with these Lams, with the Zlatan, and some of the other cards here, like the Rickens that I bought that are making a couple thousand coins on per card. So it's kind of like I lose some coins, we make some of those coins back. It's just going all over the place right now in this game. But I'm definitely going to lose some coins today because I'm going after upgrade packs. I'm going to buy some gold rares and hopefully start packing some Bundesliga Tots cards and getting this Tots counter as high as it can possibly go. I'm going to have weekend league rewards today on stream as well. I am 10 and uh, what is it? 7? Yeah, three games left, 10 and seven. Just got to get one more dub. I'll gift the rest and we will have 11 win rewards. Maybe we can finally get lucky in our reds this week for Bundesliga. So that's the video for today, guys. I will see you guys in the stream today. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan for the Accountants. See you guys later today. Peace.